this is not new. Uh, the, the blockade of Gaza, of course, began 2006, 2007. Uh, but it's been something that's been developing over decades. Uh, in the 1990s, uh, we first saw the emergence of movement control of uh, residents of the Gaza Strip. In the West Bank, uh, we've seen over the 1990s and 2000s this elaborate system of permits, uh, uh, restrictions on movements, uh, uh, the ability of Israel to shut down towns, shut down villages, prevent people moving from one side to one area to another. Uh, and this is all on the back, of course, of uh, an occupation of the West Bank and Gaza Strip since 1967 uh, and uh, uh, the, the actual expulsion of the Palestinian people from their homes and land in 1947-48. Many people today are speaking about a ceasefire, but it's very important to remember that the situation for Palestinians in Gaza was not normal even before this latest attack began. These kinds of uh, attacks really have happened if we look over the last few years. Every two years there has been uh, attacks of this scale where you have hundreds of people killed, uh, thousands wounded, uh, and you have this uh, in the context of an ongoing closure uh, and blockade of the Gaza Strip. There has been an ongoing siege for seven years. Israel is counting by calorie how much Palestinians uh, should be eating, how much should get into the Gaza Strip, even books are being vetted by Israel. Construction material isn't being allowed in. Fishermen are not allowed to go out into the sea. So we are talking about a civilian population in the Gaza Strip. Uh, the average age is 17. A uh, 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 majority of the people are under the age uh, are, are youth and are children. So this is a war against youth and children. It's a war against civilian areas. It's a war against uh, refugee populations. And it's a war against an area that has been blockaded without uh, uh, ability to access medical supplies, with electricity cuts off, with water, with water supplies being cut off. This is not a situation that people can accept. And the Palestinian people all around the world are united in one demand that this siege must stop and it must end. And we think it's up to ordinary people around the world. We are not appealing to governments anymore. Palestinians have appealed to governments for decades. We are appealing to people of conscience around the world. Just like we ended apartheid in South Africa, we have to end Israeli apartheid. Move Palestine! Move, move Palestine!